Hello everyone, this is Jules with Techcomi.com. I'm here with another video concerning my uh, Windows 7 gadget that I created a few months back. We've updated it since. Uh, the now stable version is 3.1.8. It'll be available on SourceForge for free download within the few hours of me posting this video. So by the time you're watching this, you can go ahead and download it. Uh, I'll post a link down below, or you could do a simple search for craft hyphen control. You should be able to find it in some Minecraft forums as well as some Google websites. So I want to show you a little bit of what we've done to this new version. Uh, we've finally implemented the monitoring player uh, options that we've been wanting to create, kind of like an Xbox Live type system where you can get notifications of people playing on servers that you're that you enjoy or or play on. So uh, it's pretty much all the same here. Refresh button, R control. Here's the search for Minepedia and your players list. And this launches Minecraft. Uh, what's really what has really changed is uh, the options menu. So what we've added here is uh, version numbers, so you can see what version you're actually running. You can also check your version by looking at your gadgets and then showing details. You can see right here this is 3.1.8 and this is one of my beta versions that I've been testing, 3.1.5. If you're running 3.1.5, just uninstall it. Right click, uninstall, done. So 3.1.8 is the one you should be running right now if you want this uh, watching feature. So let's show you a little bit about what it is. You still have all five of your servers that you can watch. And the server that we'll be testing on this video is the mc.kingdomcraft.co server. Uh, it's a server that I stumbled on a few months ago. Lots of people on it, really busy, like 24-7. So it's uh, it's been really good to do some testing on. So let's go to... Oh yeah, sorry, one more thing here is that you can change the... I'm going to change this to two minutes. But you can change the server refresh time. Uh, in case it's refreshing too frequently or your system doesn't quite have the resources to be pinging five different servers every 30 seconds. So this is uh, also something that we've done to help with the the server watching issue. These watch check marks don't work, so don't bother with them right now. We're going to be implementing those later. Uh, but for the time being, if there's a name in here, it'll look for it. If there's no name in there, it won't bother looking for anybody. So that's the way it works as of right now. Let's take a look at some of the players that we have here on the Kingdom Craft. There we go. All right, MRS, SOX, and Aiden24 have been the two names that I've been beta testing with. So I appreciate your attendance on the server and for having such a relatively easy to remember Minecraft name. Uh, so kudos goes to you two. Let's show you how we do this now. So Aiden24 and MRSSOX. Let's get them. Let's monitor them on that server. So that would be server 2, our Kingdom Craft server. MRSSOX and Aiden24. Okay. 120 seconds. So I'm not going to sit here and wait around for two minutes. We have a manual refresh button. So I'll show you what this does right now. Okay, hopefully you heard that. This is a little pop-up that plays uh, some sound of a portal, uh, a nether portal. It tells you that it's found some players, it tells you the number of players found, it tells you their names and what servers they're on. So then you should be able to click OK. This also times out right like that every 15 seconds. So you can let this run and uh, it'll just time out if there's no OK. We're going to make the OK button do some stuff, we're going to add some more buttons later. But in the meantime, that's why we made this changeable here. I prefer to have mine set to about 5 minutes, which is 300 seconds. And then every 5 minutes, if one of my friends pops on, this that pop-up will show. The thing is, is that if you have it set to every 30 seconds, you're going to get a pop-up like this every 30 seconds. 
which can prove to be quite annoying. And it's the one major hurdle that we're having a hard time with our last feature. So right there's the, my manual refresh being followed by the two minute refresh. So you can see how that could be quite annoying. So that's why we've set it to be adjustable here. So it's by default it's 30 seconds. You can change this whenever you want, however you want. Uh, I don't recommend going below 30 seconds. Uh, but to each his own. However you wish to check your servers. It's going to check all servers all the time and each server can only be mo can only monitor up to three Minecraft players. So let's get rid of these guys real quick. So now I'm not monitoring anybody on the Minecraft or the Kingdomcraft server and nobody's on my server right now. So when we hit refresh, we won't get a pop-up. That's as simple as that. And actually it looks like somebody's dropped out. It was 13 just a second ago. But that's the changes. These guys right here, some version numbers and your ability to now watch players on uh, watch for players showing up on servers that you like. So for example if uh, you wanted to watch uh, Aiden24 on two different servers like for example this Kingdomcraft server as well as my Techcomi server you'd have to put his name in on both server tabs so his name would have to show up twice so that's uh, a little bit of a limitation right now I'm not sure how we're going to go with uh, tweaking that making just a big global list of people to watch for or server independent lists right now it's server independent lists so that you don't get too bombarded with too many pop-ups but for the time being that's 3.1.8 we hope you enjoy it please leave your questions and comments below if you find any bugs please let us know also we're striving hard to make this a decent widget for those that like playing minecraft and uh... being a little bit more social in the playing of it we're uh... really proud to release this version it'll be up at sourceforge again we'll have a link down in the description below but uh... please leave your questions or comments and we're gonna try to get 4.0 out here in a couple weeks with uh... the watching tabs working And that's it for now. Again, I'm Jules from TechCommy.com. We hope you enjoy Craft Control 3.1.8, and uh, we hope to hear from you if you uh, have experiences, both good and bad. Thank you.